Hi everyone, this is Srinivas from Amirpet Technologies. So in this video, I am going to explain about uh, the static queries and dynamic queries in JDBC. See, we, we know already JDBC is used to perform all database operations in the database from Java application. See here, whenever you are performing the operations, we are using two types of queries which are called static queries and dynamic queries. So first of all, so what is a static query and what is a dynamic query? So let me explain. So whenever you are creating the table, see in the query, if you are not writing any value, either by reading or directly, if you are not writing any value, which is called static query. Whenever you are writing some values, then which becomes dynamic query. With few examples, I'll, I'll let you know. Simple one, I just want to create the table. See here, create, create table. Suppose table name is a student. I am writing that student number, student number, we are writing some number, write up to 5 and student name, anything you can write. In this one, we are not adding any values, nothing but you are not reading any values from the user. Using the scanner class or from HTML page, we are not reading anything which is called static query. If you want to delete the table, here drop, drop table, table name we are giving student. This is called static query. Sir, I want to insert the student details. So, either I am reading from the user using the scanner class or from HTML form, we are collecting the details. How to write? Insert, insert into table, for example, student values, values, student ID or student number, student name or any other values. Whenever you are adding values, these values will change every time. In core Java level, you are reading the data using the scanner class or by using the buffered reader class. From the servlets, in advanced, in server side programming, we are reading the same data using HTML form. Whenever you are collecting the data and substitute values, which is called dynamic query. Next. I just want to read the complete information of the student table. Select. Select star from student table. See here, I am not reading anything. So this is called static query. Next. So suppose I want to display the student details with a particular ID number. Select select star from student where where that student id equals to so and so 101 and this one we are reading either by using the scanner class or from the html page so this is called dynamic query next i just want to delete all records from the student so delete, delete from student table. So nothing is there to read. So which is called static query. I want to delete a particular student record. So delete from student, delete from student where that student ID equals to 102. Again, this will read. So this is called dynamic query. 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग द जे डी बी सी ट्यूटोरियल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट आर स्टैटिक क्वरीज एंड वॉट आर डायनेमिक क्वरीज वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग इन द डेटा बेस बिकॉज टू एग्जीक्यूट द स्टैटिक क्वरीज वी आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट अप्रोच इन जे डी बी सी टू एग्जीक्यूट द डायनेमिक क्वरीज वी आर रिप्रजेंटिंग मीन्स वी आर फॉलोइंग द डिफरेंट सिनेरियो all these things how to execute static queries how to execute dynamic queries in the next video i am going to explain hope you understood thank you all